guys. Welcome back to the channel. Mark here that always at Bumpkin. So decided to go out for a little walk. It's been a while since I've done a video on the channel so I thought it was time I did something. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while actually, all these different walks. Because um, where I live there's lots of nice walks around town and I wanted to just go on some of these walks with you guys, show you, show them to you and just look at the different locations. <clears throat> so this is the first one um, that we're going on today. This is just Branksom Woods. We're just going to walk from Branksom Woods down into Branksom Chine by the beach. Then I'm going to walk along the beach um, to Shore Road, which is Sandbanks, and then back along Sandbanks and, and uh, back home that way. Um, probably take a little while. I won't walk too fast, but this is just really the only time you're going to see my face. The rest of the walk is going to be me kind of filming where I am and showing you where I am, okay? So yeah, just wanted to let you know about that. Not actually going to be talking, well I am going to be talking, but you're not going to see my face. You're going to see where we're walking as opposed to my face, which is probably better to be honest with you, rather than you guys seeing my ugly face all the time, because you, you see enough of it on my channel. So I thought what we'll do is we'll go for these walks and rather than you having to look at my face, you can see where I'm walking. Just think that would be a, a good plan, all right? So yeah, keep them peeled. Okay guys, so this is the first part of the walk. This is the, this is the first part of the woods, the biggest kind of open area. Um, council be down here, by the way, they're looking a bit of, uh, doing a bit of work and tidying up and keeping it clean, which is good. Yeah, there you go. A little, lovely little glade in the middle of a wood. Now we've got two pathways. We're going to go down this one. I don't think it matters that too much, but yeah, we'll go down this pathway. <coughs> For a start, the tree's blocking that pathway anyway, so we need to go this way. Um, yeah, and um, make our way slowly down to the beach, bank some chine. Um, it's not a very popular walk, mostly you'll find joggers coming through here and dog walkers and kids on their bikes, that's pretty much it. So yeah, it's the first part of the wood, just look back there, it's only a small bit of woodland. But yeah, we'll keep going and there's more to see further up. going to switch the camera off now because we're coming up to the road and I want to concentrate on crossing the road rather than getting hit by a car. Okay so here we are, second part of the woods, there's a little stream behind there. But yeah I don't normally do this work a lot because it's often muddy because you can see there's no stones down on the pavement, it's all dirt and muck. So I don't tend to do a lot of walks through here unless it's dry but yeah it's a really nice walk. Walk. Okay, we're coming to another fork now. I think we'll keep going. Yeah, we'll keep going straight on. You often can see a lot of nice nature down here as well. And it's kept in relatively neat condition, which is cool. Yeah. This is Branksome Woods. It's like the most like the posh part of Branksome. Lots of houses out on the road are really expensive. It's called Branksome Park. That's his full name. <coughs> Lots of posh houses out on the main road. Lots of tree trunks, and you can see a lot of people leave their rubbish over, which is a bit of a shame. But there we go. Another way out there to the main park. Great woods. More wood on my right. Yeah, we'll just um, head up here. I think we're we'll coming to another break in the, in the woods actually in a minute. So, but yeah, this is Branksome Woods. Um, for those who live locally, will probably know this really well because obviously it's close to home and it's like our way of getting down to the beach. Okay, so we've got some tennis courts out there. Um, so that main path back there takes us out to the swimming path, not swimming path, the tennis courts, which is quite a private club. I don't know if it's a public club, I'm not sure. But yeah, let's have a head out here and I'll show you the tennis courts very quickly. Little path, self-made pathway through the woods here. Not normally here. 
Yeah, there you go. Tennis courts. And there's the main path that I was talking about. What a nice evening. We'll continue walking this way. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. We've got new fences. Which is really cool. And they've made it a lot more private as well with the uh, gauze or whatever it is. Lines on the side. Makes it a bit more private. It's pretty cool. That's the tennis courts. So yeah, that was the tennis courts. Very busy there tonight, lots of people playing tennis. Also the car park was very busy as well, but I don't think people were coming to play tennis. I think people were just using it as a parking space to walk down through the woods to the beach, I think. That's my guess anyway, but it was really busy. Lots of cars going in and out. Don't quite know why, but they were. So yeah, that's the tennis court. So we'll keep on heading off down this main pavement. This one is stoned, so this is not so bad, but even this can get muddy when it rains a lot. Now we could go into the woods and walk through the woods by the stream, but I'm going to stay on this path. So yeah, I'll come back to you guys later. Okay, so there is a pathway down there. Wish we won't go down because there's not much of a pathway through there. But yeah, a few back, up to the tennis courts. Lots of friendly people out tonight as well saying hi to me, which is nice. So yeah, we'll keep on going. Now we're heading to a road. Now I think I want to come off this road if I can. So I will go into the woods. Because there's a path just here to the right. So yeah, we'll go through here. We'll go somewhere else. Yeah. So yeah, we'll head down here. And this will take us deep into the woods. Well, not deep, but into the woods. And to our right, we'll find a stream. I don't think there's any... Oh yeah, there's water in it. So yeah, stream. Not great. Filthy, dirty, nasty. But yeah, it's a stream. Which runs all the way down from... Through the woods. Two banks of China. And... Uh, the further we go into the woods, the larger the stream becomes and it, the water kind of like flows as well. Here it's pretty stagnant, not doing anything. But yeah, so this is the stream and we're walking through the woods now. It's not, I don't actually think this is the main path. I mean, you're supposed to stay out on the, the roadway, but I prefer going this way. It's a bit more fun and more, more interesting going through here than it is out on the roads. Just a personal thing, if you want to stick to the road, that's up to you. But yeah, I personally like walking past the river and through this little wood. It's a bit more fun. Loads and loads of stuff. Loads of sticks everywhere from where the council have, have been cutting things down, where the winds and the storms over time has wrecked everything. But it's still nice. And we've got the sun coming, that's really cool actually. Yeah, it's going to stop and take a few photos because we've got the sun coming through the trees, which is quite nice. So yeah, just stopped and took a photograph. And just look back and see if it's any better this way. Yeah, not so much. Well, actually, yeah, we will. We'll do one here as well. Be right back. Actually, just as I was saying, you can probably see it on the little bit of the video, but, the, but you can see that the stream is already starting to widen out. And if we come down here, you can see the water's actually moving. So it is starting to get bigger. So yeah, as I say, it does get widens out the gap more and more the further we go into the woods. So let's keep on going. We're going to come back now to another road. Lots of roads to cross, unfortunately, on this route, which is a bit of a shame. Kind of interrupts the roof, the walk a bit, but it's fine. So we'll just make our way out here. There you go, guys. That's the way back. If you're interested. And here we are coming out onto another road. And uh, we'll continue our walk in a minute. And here we are. 
back in the woods again. There's the stream, it's on my left now. So we're getting into the main meat of the walk now. The road out there to my right, which you can't can see just through the trees, it's a private road called Belgrave Road. Lots of posh houses down there, and uh, cars aren't allowed through there. I don't know that people are allowed to walk in there either, but hey ho. Doesn't matter, I'm in the woods. But yeah, that's a private road. One of many in this area, because it's quite a rich, wealthy area, Frankston Park. And I can remember during my time working for the council, Paul Council, when I worked up in the planning department doing planning appeals, <coughs> I had lots and lots of appeals for this kind of area for the posh houses around here, where people wanted to extend their houses, make them bigger even though they're already big, oh look a ginger cat there chilling zoom in so you can see him there we go hello buddy, have a nice evening over there good for you ok again lots of people now starting to come out and go for a walk down to the beach <clears throat> so yeah I mean I'm not going to record much more you can see where we're going it's all the same so yeah but I will come back on the camera and record a bit more a bit later in the walk for now we'll leave it there but yeah you can get the picture more woods a nice long path it's a nice walk so yeah I'll catch you guys later okay well I came back sooner than I thought I would but, I mean, just look at this. It's such a great walk. Really nice. Really, really nice. Don't do this walk enough. Okay, guys. We've got a bit of anomaly here. The stream, which we saw a moment ago, which was flowing lovely. Well, here it's, it's not flowing. It's dried up completely. It's just mud. And stone and that's it so why it's just just dried and stopped flowing that's just unbelievable I've never seen that before tree that's pretty cool go take a photograph of that tree because that could be the thumbnail for this video but yeah that's just just, uh, just amazing really to see this stream that was flowing a second ago is just like not flowing here strange but there we go that's nature for you and sunshine Okay, here we are back on the main path now, continuing our walk this evening. Just to say what we're going to do, we're walking down to Branks and Chine. I might stop on the beach for a little bit because it's a nice evening and the beach is lovely. So we might stop on the beach and just sit and chill for a little bit. But I don't want to be there too long because I want to pop into Tesco's Express in Sandbanks as well on the way back through just to get a drink because my throat's starting to go a bit dry. But yeah, so we're back on the main path now and we're coming to another road so we'll head to the right where the path no we'll go left actually because the path's over here and cross this road there we go Branksome uh, Branksome Chine Gardens now not Branksome Park Woods anymore And now this is like the last part of the walk this is the one that takes us down to the beach and this is going to be really busy the cyclists coming out so I'm going to step off the pavement in a minute and over here we have a church very nice church too there we go I think it's All Saints Church, St Oldham, something like that. But as you can see, big old graveyard, lots of gravestones. That's the back of the church, can't see a lot of it. But it's a nice church. Very beautiful, well, nice architecture. Um, but yeah, the actual front of the church is out on the main road, which I'm not going to go to, because uh, I'm not going to make this video all about the church, so I want to show you the back of the church. But it's a nice little church.
Okay, so there's the stream again. Got a bit of movement, so the water's coming back. But normally it's a lot more than this. But then we've had a lot of hot weather and dry weather lately. We've not had a proper lot of rain for a long time. But yeah, there is water coming back in the stream. To its growth though, as ever, and filthy. North Church. In fact, if we can get a good shot of the back of the church, I might take a photo of it. No, I'm not going to be able to. Shame. Okay. Now, there are a couple of points along this stream which I really like, which I'll stop and photograph and show you. But yeah, no, that's more like it. See how wide it's got? But yeah, very little water. Now we're just going to go around the corner to the right now. Looks like some new trees, new trees been planted up ahead there, which is cool because this, this woods had lost a lot of trees over the years in the storms that we've had, so it needs new trees planting. So that's good. So here we go, around the corner. We're going to cross a little bridge or ford, what you want to call it, over the river, the stream. Okay. More the stream. Another new tree. Okay. Here we are. So we have a little waterfall here. That's really nice. And one side. I spent ages here once with my camera trying to get a perfect shot of the water kind of slowing down the exposure to make it look milky white so it's not moving. Had some success but not a great deal so we need to try it again some in one day. But yeah, the tree across a little river which has been like that for ages. More the stream. Go back on the path. So as I say, this is coming down to the last part now of the walk. And it will take us to the beach. Lovely old redwood tree there. Look at that. Huge bit of redwood tree. Look at that. Very nice. Okay. Oh, and we've got another little waterfall there. I don't think I, don't think I tried that one. I'm doing my photos with the waterfalls. That might work fine. Can I get that? Or did I? Can't remember. Probably did. So here we are. Heading again by the river. I'm going to... Yeah, I mean, you, again, you get the picture. Um, this is, yeah, more walk, more wood, more stream, but again, it's still really nice. So yeah, catch you guys later. Okay, you can now see the stream is on my left again. So back there we crossed over a little ford again, over the stream. So we're now walking on the right of it, and the stream is on the left, and it's much bit, bit better looking. Still not cleanish, but still a bit better looking. Still mank. And, uh, I wouldn't want to go in that. Nasty water. But even this is quite low. It's normally a lot higher than this as well. So yeah, we need some rain to refill the stream, I think. But not a lot, because it's summer. Okay, duck under the tree. Up a set of steps. Now here we can go either straight on over the top there, which I don't normally do. Or we can go down some steps again, which I will do. And yeah, another ford. And uh, you can hear another little waterfall. Yeah, there you go. That's just strategically placed foot wells. Now this one I know I did try and photograph 
come on together again. I think we need to come back and do this, just zoom in a bit on that. There we go. But guys, bear with me a second, I can take a photo of that. Because that might be the thumbnail as well, actually. Here we are again. So the thing about this part of the wood is that there are so many pathways that you can take and different ways you can go. They all bring you to the ultimately the same place in the roads. But there are so many different ways that you can go along here. But this is the way I normally go. So we'll keep on heading down this path here. Not to be back in the garden playing tonight. Don't blame them, it's a nice evening. I don't have a garden, hence why I'm out walking. But you know, hey ho. I'd rather be out walking than sitting in the garden to be honest. Okay, we'll go to this way. We can go that way if we wanted to, which is just takes us higher. But I want to go this way because I'm looking for something specific on this walk, which I really like, which is up further. So I want to show you guys. So yeah, we'll stay down the low road and head this way. And yet another pathway heads out to the road. Tons of them. Must be a clump of bamboo there. Sweet chestnut tree, look at that. How straight that is. Pretty cool. Lots of nice pine trees too. Look at that. That's a big conifer, I think. How straight that is. Seems like the trees, yeah. Pine trees dropping seeds on me. Bits of fir cones, there must be something up there chewing. A squirrel, I bet. Yeah, there must be a squirrel up in the branches. Well, oh yeah, I can see him. Yeah. There's a bird actually, not a squirrel. The bird. No, it's a squirrel. Yep, there he is. I see him. He's sat up in the trees, chewing on fur cones and all the bits of fur cone dropping down as he peels it. There you go. That was fun. <coughs> oh, and there's another squirrel having a rattle go at me. Like not, but I think he's probably just talking for his mate. Yeah, it's a horrible noise they make. They're cute squirrels, but they make some weird noises. A bit like foxes. Cute looking, but they make some weird foxes. Oh, look at that. It's a fuchsia. Well, there you go. Weird place for a fuchsia to grow. Wild in the woods. I suppose they can. There's another one, a pink one as well. Yeah. I'm sure I've probably noticed it before. So we're coming up to this thing I wanted to show you guys. It's just a bit further up here. Yep, there it is. There's the bridge. So, yeah, here we go. Let me just get down and show you this. I really love this. There you go. It's the top of it. All made of stone. It's not perfect stone, I think it's just Portland stone or something. But yeah, I really like this. We're gonna grab some photos of this because this may well be the thumbnail, don't know yet. Let's have a look. So, bear with me, folks, I'm back with you shortly. There we go. That is my favourite part of these woods, this bridge. We've got some steps to go up to it. And you can, if you coop you down, because I've done it before. Ooh, here's mushrooms. They're pretty awesome. You can coop you down under here. Um, you can go through there. I'm not going to because it's a bit muddy and I'll get my trousers dirty. But yeah, pretty cool. I think. 
the bridge and you can make some giant gardens just uh, step back over here there we go throw that trees in the way kind of blocks it all off stand up here a minute There we go. Actually, that's yep. Yeah, that could be the thumbnail. Bear in a second, folks. Gonna take a photo of that. So yeah, one last look at the bridge. Because as I say, it is my far and away my favourite thing in these woods. And we'll move on back to the main path. And we are getting closer and closer to the beach now. So the stream is a little bit higher down here, but not a great deal more. Yeah, we'll keep on going along this path. Lots of lovely trees through these woods as well. I mean, lots of great big tall conifer and cedar trees, which you don't often see. So I'm wondering if once upon a time, before the houses were built, if these trees littered the whole of Frankston Park. But I don't know. Loads of bamboo. Looks like we've uh, teleported to China. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Would love that. Could do some great vlogs in China. So much to see and do over there. But yeah, here we are. Another bench. Quite a nice place to sit as well. Another super tree there, look. It's a birch tree, I believe. Look at that. That's nice. Okay folks, photo opportunity, so I will come back to you again when I've taken the photo of this lovely copper coloured leaf tree. I'll tell you what guys, I am going to be spoiled for thumbnails for this video. There's lots of great photos. Not sure what I'm going to use yet. Look at that. A pretty plum. Just growing there. Yellowy, yellow green leaves. Pinky white flowers. Try another name of it, can't think of what it is right now, but it's still pretty. And we'll keep on walking. Loving these lay logs all laid by the path, that's pretty cool. A couple of pigeons having a dispute up there in the tree. I think it's a male and a female, and the male's trying to get a bit frisky with her, perhaps. Or it could be a couple of males fighting over territory, I don't know. Not a pigeon. Don't know what they do. Apart from coo a lot and live in trees and infest our skies. Okay, let's. Yeah, we'll go right. We can go a little forward and then it's usually mucky. So we'll go right. And we're coming up to yet another bench to sit on over there. Too, but we don't, not going to, no need. We'll keep on going. And we are definitely now coming to the last part of Branksome Woods. This will lead us down to the beach. So yeah, catch you guys in a bit. Yeah, another pathway which heads off to the streets. And here we go. Okay, let's just stop over here a minute. Got another little waterfall. Again, normally all of these holes have water coming through them. So yeah, still pretty though. But yeah, once the rain comes back, they'll all start to flood down a bit. But normally they all flood down and cascade down. It's quite pretty. But we've only got the one today. That's fine. There we go. So yeah, a little bit of water movement. Not a great deal though. And of course, as you can see, this stream is meandering. That's the word you use for that when a river or body of water weaves around a pl block of uh, a, a block. Is that a block? A thing of land, an island of land. I don't know what the, don't know what the term is. 
But meander's right. That bit we do know is right. Meander's right. The rivers do that. Lakes don't because obviously they're just like big ponds and they can't because they're just big ponds and they're in one place. Rivers and streams, they can meander. So yeah, we'll keep on going. Again, lots of lovely, loads of redwood trees, pine trees, cypress trees, conifer trees. I don't know what they're called. Not a tree person. I just love them. Don't know their names. They are nice. Now, if you look up there, that fence. You remember I said there's another walk where you can go up above. That's where it goes. All up back there. It's fine. The trouble is it brings you out, it doesn't bring you out near Branks and Chine, it brings you further up from Branks and Chine, more heading towards Camford Cliffs, so you have to walk down the road. So we don't want to do that, that's why we're going this way instead. But yeah, so a lot more water here, as you can see. So there is water. But it's still usually a bit higher sure of it but yeah like I say we've not had any much rain so it's not surprising really but even so it's still nice I would like to know what the orangey stuff is there I don't quite know what that is I'm guessing sandstone maybe don't know could be could be sandstone kind of looks sandy doesn't it I guess I suppose if you were to take some and let it dry, it might go a bit lighter in colour. So yeah, I guess it's sandstone. Don't know. I think that's why the river looks so grubby, because of the... Uh, of that. And we've got... Is that crow? Yeah, we've got a crow in the middle of the pathway doing something. Okay, let's have a look to our left here. We'll have a quick look up here. This normally is really muddy all year round. We'll just double check it. Yeah, it looks pretty muddy. Yeah, we won't risk it. To be fair, there's nothing much to look at. Just lots of big plants. If I had my other shoes on, I might have risked it, but not on my trainers. Let's keep on going. What it does is it goes round there. And just comes out here. Just comes out here. See, it goes round. Comes out here. Back on the main path. Nothing special, but you know, hey-ho. Just thought I'd show you if it was uh, worth it. And here we've got <laughs> what we got here. Yeah, we have got. Check that out. That's a coronavirus warning mark on the pavement. Got one there. Keep your distance. There's another one back over here. We just walked over. Telling us to keep left. Quite surprising really, it's a lot, you can't see it in real, but on the actual ground it's worn away. But the camera is bringing it up quite clearly. But here we go, coronavirus markings. So keep left. And to keep your distance. And all that jazz. Okay, so here we are. This is the main part of the woods. There's the stream. Nice, eh? I think so too. Got a nice little weeping willow tree there, look, which is really nice. A little bench there as well to sit on. Again, I'm not going to go up here because this is always muddy. And I've got trainers on. I don't want to get muddy. Oh look, get left. And there we go. Keep a distance. Oh, another keep your distance. And another. Keep left. So here we go. The last part. Got a bridge there. If you want to go that, if you want to walk that side of the stream. Actually quite nice. Ooh, keep left. Actually quite nice because um, it's all kind of cobbled. But yeah. This is the end of Branksome Woods. Stairway to yet another pavement out of the woods. Ooh, keep your distance again. That's much clearer. Keep left. 
more bamboo. And we've got more coronavirus markings. Yeah, we're not going to do that anymore. It's boring now, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. So we're coming to the end of the woods now, and we are about to hit Branksom Chine. So we're going to end the, vid end the video for now, and I'll come back to you in a bit while I'm on the beach.